Board on North, Chamber of Commerce, Candidate Forum for Davidson County Candidates. Uh, my name is Donovan Hilton. I have the opportunity to serve as the Board Vice Ch President, and also I will serve as your meeting facilitator. Uh, we will have candidates um, in races for court, clerk races, judge, register of deeds, national mayor's race, and district one's council race. Now before we get started, of course, we have to give thanks to Watkins College for allowing us to use their spa space. Uh, please, a large hand of applause for Watkins College. <laughs> and also, before we get started with the forum, we're going to bring forward our fearless board chair, uh, Judge Rachel Bell, to give the announcement for the community. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Rachel Bell. Good afternoon, everyone. We're real excited that you're here today. I just wanted to tell you that we finally have the historical marker for Bordeaux and for the Martin Luther King Bridge. It will be this Friday to uh, give you some information of who the founder of Bordeaux was and also the significance of the Cumberland Bridge then being named the Bordeaux Bridge, then being named the Martin Luther King Bridge. So please come out on Friday at 10 o'clock. It will be a very short 20 to 30 minute program. Looking forward to you coming and being there. That will be at 10 o'clock this Friday on the Roma's Pizza side where the only bus bench is across from KFC. We'll be right there, right in front of Roma's Pizza, by Exotic Nails, right there by that bus bench. So 20 minutes in and out, from 10 to about 20, 10, 20. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> All right, so we're going to call forward our board general counsel, Ms. Rhonda Scott, and our board president, Ms. Lisa McGee, uh, to begin the candidate forum as the chairpersons and facilitators. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rhonda Scott Kinslow, as Donovan stated. Appreciate you all being here. Um, Port on North Chamber is really excited to have um, so many candidates present. Um, we had 19 candidates confirmed um, as of yesterday, and because of some of the um, the violence in Antioch, we've lost some people. So, um, a mayoral candidate and the mayor, current mayor David Browning was on his way canceled um, to attend an event in Antioch, as did Karen Johnson, and, um, let's see who else, um, Sam Coleman, and Karen Johnson, and David Bright. So we'll skip and start with the juvenile court clerk race. And we'll invite Michael Joyner and Lionel Matthews to the stage. So as we'll do with each race, we'll start um, we'll start the forum asking each candidate to introduce themselves to the group and to tell us why they are seeking the position. And we have two minutes, and we have um, time cards right here to, to to limit you to those two minutes. Okay. All right. First, thank you for the opportunity to be in the community to uh, Judge Bell to. Uh, Watkins School for allowing us to be here on tonight. I am Michael Jordan running for juvenile court clerk. I'm excited about this position. I'm excited about this position because this position grants me opportunity to do many of the things that I've already been doing. Good evening, everyone. Sorry about that. My name is Lionel Matthews Jr. and I too want to thank the Board of North Chamber for hosting us this evening. Uh, I am running for juvenile court clerk also, and I believe I'm the most qualified candidate to earn your vote in this race. Uh, I want to use my passion for young people to really change the outcomes that we see for our young people in this city. We'll extend the same. We'll extend the same two minute courtesy to you guys to tell tell us background. Can you tell us your daughter's background? and what she would like us to know about her, and why she is seeking to continue her judgeship, and staying for Joy will give you two minutes to speak as well. Um, so, grateful to be here. Um, my name is Chris Bellamy. I'm an attorney at Neil Harwell, a, a trial attorney, defense attorney. Um, honored to represent uh, Judge Dalton in this forum. Um, one thing that I, I truly appreciate about, appreciate about Judge Dalton is that I think she's a fair judge. Um, whether you are on the prosecutor, prosecutor side or on the defense side, ultimately she's a fair individual.
Gentry. I'm currently the criminal court clerk, and uh, thank you for uh, waiting for me, Steve. I was at a community meeting, and I was told I'd be in the second group. I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Been here all my life. Uh, I've had a full career uh, here in Nashville. Uh, politically, I was elected councilman at large. Then I, I was elected vice mayor, and I've been criminal court clerk uh, since 2011. And, um, you know, Nashville is my home. It's, it's the place I love. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming out and being with us on this wet and rainy afternoon. I think we all need to start building an R. But first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you to the Board of North Nashville Chamber for allowing us this forum to come out and actually discuss our platforms with you. It, uh, it, it humbles me greatly to be here. Uh, my name is Stephen Murph, and I am candidate for criminal court clerk. I have been working in the judiciary for over 20 plus years, both here and in the District of Columbia, the highest uh, volume court system in the nation. And as I sit up here today, and I've heard uh, from our judges that are running, the common term that keeps coming to, uh, to topic is restorative justice. And the funny component about that to me is, uh, back in 2002, I was implementing uh, restorative justice programs, the Davidson County Mental Health Court. Little of you may know that uh, we were the fifth court in the nation to have a uh, fifth city in the nation to have a mental health court. My name's Ann Martin. I moved to Nashville in 1989 to go to Vanderbilt Law School and I've been practicing law since 1992. And during that time of almost 26 years of practicing in Nashville, I've done a couple of things. I have practiced consistently excellent law in the Nashville courts, representing individuals, representing companies, mostly small companies, startup companies, entrepreneurial companies, distinguished institutions like Fisk University, and I have also been a very active community volunteer from when I was a baby lawyer and I volunteered as, with the Foster Care Review Board in juvenile court. Candidate for Chancery Court Judge. First, I want to thank this organization for having this forum. I live not too very far from here. We've been all over town for forums in other neighborhoods. I think this is probably only the second forum that has been in our neighborhood. So it's very important that our community gets to meet the candidates and to interact with the candidates. So I appreciate the hard work you all done in setting this up. Um, I've been practicing law for 34 years. I'm a solo practitioner. I've practiced in all of the major courts in Nashville and the surrounding area, including Chancery Court. I've been to court thousands of times. First off, thanks to the Chamber. Uh, my name is Scott Tift. Before I talk about myself, I want to make sure to personally ask each and every one of you in the audience for your vote. I think it's fundamentally important to make sure you've asked every single person for their vote. So I hope during your vote. Um, I've been a lawyer in town for the last decade, and for most of that time, I've been representing people in the firm founded by George Barrett, who was a longtime civil rights litigator in Nashville, Tennessee. And the work that I've done at his firm, first under his tutelage, and then since he's passed, is representing people on the kind of cases you learn about in civics class. Gwen, I am running for General Sessions Judge, Division 3. Um, I have been practicing here in Nashville for 11 years. Um, private practice, so criminal defense and family law has been the focus of my practice. Now, my platform that I have chosen is rehabilitation before incarceration. What that entails is that the judge has discretion in sentencing. I can't do anything about how I have to enforce the law if I were judge, but I can do something about how sentencing is enforced. Leonardo, I'm the current judge in Division Three of General Sessions Court. Got appointed by the Metro Council on January the 2nd. I was formerly the councilman in District 1, which is geographically the largest council district, and it's just right across uh, the MLK Bridge. Uh, as the District 1 Councilman, I, I did what I said I was going to do. I stopped the landfill from uh, expanding in Bordeaux. Also passed several um, urban design overlays and really worked hard uh, in the community. And I think um, that if you're elected by the people, you need to be with the people. My name is Tillman Payne. I, uh, I'm a retired Air Force officer. I've been practicing law here in the uh, Middle Tennessee area for almost 20 years. Um, I used to be an assistant public defender and uh, now I've been in private practice since 2000. I'm Kenya Magruder. I am um, Judge uh, Sam Coleman's campaign manager. Unfortunately, Judge Coleman is in um, Antioch in his former district um, with the people of Antioch who are trying to heal from the most recent tragedy. So I pinch hit today. Um, Judge Coleman was actually appointed to this seat uh, last May. Uh, 
Uh, she's, like I said, she's a council member of District 29. She has a bachelor's degree in business administration at Tennessee State University, master's degree in business administration and organizational management at Trevacca. It is the most important office to be in Nashville because first of all, we want to help people get affordable housing get a real estate, but even once you get to that point, you want to make sure there's integrity in that office. You want to make sure there's no fraudulent activity when it comes to real estate. You know, real estate is location, location, location. We're seeing a greater divide between left and right, and that's kind of why I took a stance to say, you know, when uh, I've got two sons that are in public schools here, nine and 10 year olds, and when I see a 12 year old uh, getting arrested for carjacking in the national community, and I see these things that are changing where the system is seeking to serve itself versus the people that city. That's where I decided to come in and say. My name is Johan Porsche. I'm the Director of Communications for Carol Swain's campaign for mayor. Um, I am not here to talk about myself. I'm here to talk about Carol. Um, the story of Carol Swain is what really got me initially interested in her as a person. I'm Judy Cummings and I'm a candidate for Metro Council member District 1. I am uh, the committed, dedicated, honest, and most experienced candidate that we have uh, running for this position. Hi, my name is Sylvester Armour. I'm 46 years old. I'm a small business owner. I'm a pencil partner with Metro School. I'm vice president of Gold Key Neighborhood Association. And also, I'm a mentor at the President Taylor Boys and Girls Clubs. My, cam my campaign is based on the, the ideology of Ubuntu, which means I am nothing without you. The focus is education, crime, and housing, which I put works behind it already.